What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexi and welcome back today to Ark Survival Evolved. Yes, welcome back everyone. Oh, I've whistled by accident. There we go. Um, so yeah, hello guys. How you doing? We've got Boris over here. We've got Bernard, Jay-Z and Plumo Scorpius, who we haven't named just yet. Ooh, you can actually be leveled up. So yeah, anyway, I've got so, so much cool stuff to show you today. Uh, we're going to go with melee damage for you. See, so yeah, anyway, I've got so, so much cool stuff for you uh, to see today. And I've also got a few things that I'd really like to complete by the end of this episode. So, uh, yeah, I've been a little bit busy, um, sort of off screen here, getting prepared for this episode. I've done exactly the same thing I've done last time, which was say I do a little bit of setup and then spend like hours just playing because I'm so addicted to this game. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, if we go into our inventory here, we are now level 29. So, one level away from level 30. If we check out our engrams here, you can see that we are pretty close to learning some new gear. So, we've got to sell some bits and pieces. Uh, as well as that, I've also unlocked some cool things here. So, uh, metal hatchet pikes and crossbows and all that jazz. I finally got around to actually building the stuff that we need in order to get those. So, you can see over here, I've set this up on this, this very makeshift little ramp. We have a, a forge and we have a smithy here. And, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is actually make ourselves some of these brand new items. So, uh, I've made the pick and the hatchet already, but I've also unlocked the pike, which is going to replace the spears. And, as well as that, I've also... Uh, hang on a second, let me go back. Come on, there we go. Uh, I've also got this cool thing here, which is the crossbow. So, we only need fibre and metal ingots. And the only thing is, we need metal. Now, there are a few ways of getting metal. Oh, there's two metal in here. You know what, let's, let's smelt those down. Um... So yeah, there's two different types of kind of, well, there's lots of different ways to get metal. We can just literally go and hack at some rocks. Of course, there are some dinos and stuff that will collect them for you. And this is sort of what I want to do today. So I'll tell you a quick story. Basically, what I was doing is um, I was over there just trying to get some XP together, bits and pieces, and a Spino level three came along. So I thought, you know what? I think we're going to have a little go at trying to tame this guy because I thought it would be cool to show up with a, a Spino. Uh, yeah, I basically blew all my narcotics, all my narco berries, all my narco arrows, loads and loads of food and stuff, and I didn't even get... <laughs> the, the thing woke up, basically. So I was kind of thinking we need to find a better way to actually harvest some narco berries in order for us to do those things. So the first thing we're going to do, as well as making these tools, is we're actually going to stay there. There we go. Is we are going to go and get ourselves a trike. Because I believe a trike, along with a stego and a another one, I think there's like a woolly mammoth that does this, but it should be easier for us to harvest some narco berries. So hopefully, we should be able to get a trike today. And as well as that, if we've got time, I'd love to level up to 35 and finally get our first flying mount. One of those dudes. Ooh, check this out. Check this out. I've got one of these bad boys. Ah, oh, yeah. So I found one of these actually in a blue. Um, no. It was one of the green beacons, uh, not beacons, supply drops. I've got one in a green supply drop, and I also got these guys, which are these uh, chitting gauntlets here, which are pretty cool looking. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. We've got some gear. We've been kind of raiding some bits and pieces, but this is so useful because it actually shows us what's going on. Uh, where are those T-Rexes? Look at this. Oh, look at this. It's, a, it's an alpha raptor. I'm kind of scared about this. Aren't alphas supposed to be really, really strong? I know it's only level 2, but this guy has been there since day 1, and I'm really hesitant to try and fight him because I think the alphas are, like, really strong. Uh, but these are the two T-Rex that just keep staying there. Level 8 female and level 10 male, I think, or vice versa. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab myself some metal, and yeah, let's upgrade some gear. Okie dokie, so I've got myself some more metal, which is good. Uh, yeah, so I was kind of doing a bit of research and bits and pieces because I wanted to look at to which dinos do certain things to kind of help me in collecting. You see, the thing is, I think we're slowly starting to enter kind of like mid-game territory, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, we're starting to get bits and pieces that... Um, we can kind of use to, to sort of get to the latter stage of stuff. I know we're still not kind of that high level and there's tons of stuff to collect, but I think we can probably slowly start thinking about moving to a different area, um, trying to set up a more temporary, uh, sort of more permanent base, and then we can start maybe setting up some kind of irrigation systems. We can also start and look into mining, and yeah, there are a few dinos and bits and pieces that will help us with that. So, I actually, funnily enough, saw a couple of them over here. I can't remember what they're called. Are they called Ankylos? I wonder if there's any more. They're kind of like this sort of... Oh! No, that's not one of them. That one collects rocks. Oh, no, you're killing it. Can you see, like, that little tubby one there? 
which is obviously getting killed by this T-Rex because everything on Death Beach just gets picked off by the same two T-Rex. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, there's one of them over there, which is good for collecting rocks. Where are you? And I think the Ankylo. Oh, the Dodicarus. There we go. Uh, and the Ankylo is sort of similar. It's kind of like um, a really kind of armoured... I don't know really how to, like, a, an, not an anteater, but yeah, it's kind of like this long thing. And it swings its tail, and I think that's really good for collecting rocks and metals and stuff. Um, so yeah, we can start maybe looking into that. I do know that these shrines, not the shrines, you know, the, uh, the towers. Uh, the tops of those, some of them I think are really good for, like, mining um, metals and stuff like that. So, ha! Huh. Oh, it's a... Uh, couple of supply drops over there so yeah i'm kind of thinking about that sort of trying to do it but i really think that the main thing we need to do is go and get ourselves a trike because um yeah berry farming is getting pretty difficult just by hand it's taking way too long uh, for the amount of berries that we need it's really annoying because with that spinosaur um the one that i nearly got I think I got to like 65-70% and I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm going to be able to do this. And then the damn thing woke up and I was like, oh, my day is ruined. So that was a bit of a shame. Uh, we need some more water. So we got 29 narco berries. I'm wondering how many narco it will take to keep a trike underground. Underground? Under sedation. Probably not that much, actually. Probably not that much. Um, I'd actually, I'd quite like to get like a relatively high level one though, seeing as we are... You know, coming up to level 30, and I don't think... I think there are better ones for it. No, my narco berries are spoiling. Oh, <laughs> Let's go and make some narco. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to, to try and get something like that to help us out a bit. Apparently Stegosaurus are really good for it as well, but the only problem with those is I don't think we have a saddle yet for them, so... Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Um, See, so yeah, anyway, I can make five of them straight off the bat, so let's do that. And I'm wondering... Oh! Oh, there we go. A little bit of a, a freeze. Oh, it's so annoying, right? Because the game just updated and added a new dino into the game. Well, it's not like a dino. It's kind of like a millipede, <laughs> which is so... Oh! Oh, is it not one-to-one? -one? Oh, I did not know that. Okay, so I thought one metal gave you one metal ingot, but it obviously doesn't. Okay. Ha! Huh. I better go and collect some more metal. Rightio, so I think we are ready in order to make ourselves one of these guys, uh, the crossbows. So let's go into the smithy here, access inventory. Uh, we need a little bit more wood, so let's go and stick that in there. Weapons, ranged, uh, and yeah, crossbow, dun dun dun. So we can, I think this is better than the uh, primitive bow anyway, so that should be good. Uh, and it's going to be perfect as well because we're just about to use it. Dun dun dun, and I leveled up as well, nice, nice. Excellent news. Okay, so um, we need what? Well, there's one in the clip. You know what? Let's just let's leave that primitive one here for now because you never know when we're gonna die and we need ourselves a bow. So let's go and stick this in here with all this other gubbins. And uh, yeah, we've leveled up. Nice. Oh god, man, this is really weird. Ever since this update, I get like these random freezes. It's very strange. Okay, hmm. What should we go with? You know, I'm kind of tempted to go with. We'll go melee damage for now. So we've got 49 engrams, which is awesome. And it means we can also actually craft ourselves some of this uh, chitin gear. Ooh. That might be really cool. A pistol? What? This is awesome. Okay, sickles as well. Oh, stego saddles. Oh, we could... Mm. I think a stego would be too ambitious to tame right now just because of our limited supply of narco. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this. I've named this the Scorpion. I've named him Randy. I don't really know why. It's just... I think it's quite a good name. So I'm going to go and take Randy here, and I'm actually going to try and use him to um, see if we can knock out a trike or triceratops, whichever one you prefer. So I've got myself some narco arrows. I've got myself some narco. Uh, hopefully, things should go well. And he's stuck in a tree. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, Randy. What are you doing? Um, so I'm slightly concerned. I actually tried this out on a couple of dinos. I don't know if I'm just pressing the wrong button, but it just seems to be killing them, not knocking them out. Um, so what I'll do is see if we can free this guy. For some reason, the texture in this tree hasn't loaded up, which is a little bit weird. And now I'm over-encumbered, so let's see what we can drop. Yeah, let me um, let me just get rid of all this wood. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Carrying a lot of weight here. Um, do we need this small crop pot? Probably not. I think I got that from a... Uh, from a supply drop, so can you move now? Can you move? R Randy, what are you- <laughs> Won't move! <laughs> Please move! Oh, you know what, fine, you stay there. So I think I saw some trikes down at the bottom here. 
Uh, at least I did five minutes ago before Randy refused to move out of that spot. Which is a little bit weird, but you know what? You're not following me, are you? Oh, that, another one this screen freezes. What? This is so annoying. Okay, so... Man, I don't know what's happened with this update, but I was running really nicely up until this point. But, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I've got myself some Narca arrows here, which we're going to load into this crossbow. And, um, hmm. Weird. There was a trike here somewhere. Let me try and sort this out. Yeah, I really don't know why it's flashing like that. Um, really, really strange. What is that over there? Did you see it? Oh, it's one of those. Oh, is it one of those things? We can actually tame one of these. Oh, it's so pretty. A Shiliosaurus. We can actually get one of those. Oh, this is what we've been looking for. So, okay, a trike. What level are you? What level are you? What level, level three? Ah, uh, you might do, actually. The thing is, I was looking at the taming rates for the higher level ones, and it's pretty, pretty long-winded, I think. Uh, what level are you? You're level two. You know, we'll pick level three, because level three is fine for now. So, oh, God, I've wasted that. No, why did I miss? Oh, God. <laughs> did not mean to do that. It's like an instant fire. I didn't realize that. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up the slope. Oh, oh. Are you stuck in the tree? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. One arrow. Are you kidding? Oh, this might not be as hard as I thought. Okay. Well, I missed the first arrow, but the second one was easy. Maybe it's because it's just, like, really low level. Okay, great. Um, access inventory. So I believe they like these guys. The, uh, the berries, and we've got some narcotic in here just in case we need it. Um, so yeah, it's taming. I guess we uh, wait around. I'm going to try and fix this weird flicker. It's really irritating me. Uh, how quick are we doing it? Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Oh, now it's stopped flickering. What? Very, very strange. Oh, whilst we're here, though, I think we actually need to unlock the trike uh, saddle. So where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Dun 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 Padasaur! This better work! What's Apache? Equip Apache. I don't know what Apache is. I'm gonna have to look that up in a second. Um, okay, we need a... Ah! Track saddle! Perfect! So we learn the engram for that. I'm gonna go and double check what Apache is. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go and check that whilst this guy tames. And I'll meet you guys back when he's done. Right, so whilst we wait, I just did a little Google. I think, if I remember correctly, this is one of the dinos that was added fairly recently. So we've, oh, we've probably got like 15, 20 minutes left for this guy to tame. Um, but yeah, anyway, it says here, common name is Patchy. It is a herbivore. Ooh, its temperament is passive, but apparently they're quite aggressive if you attack them. I don't actually think I've seen one. It kind of looks a little bit like a, a parasaur, but it's got a different shaped head. A little bit like a parasaur. Um, but yeah, I've not seen one yet, so... Ah, huh. that's really strange. Okay, fair enough. So anyway, I'm just going to keep waiting for this guy to tame, and then hopefully we'll be able to actually get ourselves this... Oh, there's a stego over there. Oh, there's a spino over there. Look at these guys. They're such jerks. Look at you, you jerk. Oh, it's level one. Yeah, I probably still wouldn't be able to take it out with the stuff I've got. I would love to tame one of those at some point, though. That would be really awesome. Of course, I'd love to tame a Rex as well, but I think we need to get the... Uh, the narco production a little bit more flowing before we try and take that on again because last time was a disaster I spent like an hour harvesting stuff and it just woke up which was really annoying uh, Oh, you're starving. Okay Let's uh, let's eat and yeah, see how it goes Hey, there we go. You have tamed a trike. Ah, oh, yeah, it's our first triceratops I guess this is probably one of like the first ones that people would tame but yeah, this is going to be really good, I hope, for doing some harvesting. So those are the ones that we've tamed so far. Pretty good. Um, I think you look like a friendly soul. Let's call you Barney. <laughs> there we go. Nice. So, okay, right. We need to actually get ourselves a saddle. All we need is a little bit of wood for that. Uh, oh, that should be perfect, actually. And hey, trike. Okay. Wow, 140 hide. Okay. We've got loads of hide, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, that probably took about uh, 20 odd minutes. My timing speed, uh, my taming speed is actually boosted for this world because, yeah, it's madness having to stand around for like hours and hours and hours. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Got a little trike. Amazing. So he's probably slow as anything. Oh, and he's stuck on the tree. Why? Are oh, come on, move, move. Oh, for goodness sake. It's a terrible start. Move yourself from my present street. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. And yeah, we're rolling. Nice, 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 nice. So, I think what we'll do... Oh, look at that! 
That was one tail sweep, and that's 20 Narka Berries. This is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and take him to a flatland area here. He gets tired so, so quickly. Oh my goodness. He's already knackered. Um, but yeah, this is going to be so good. So I'm thinking, apparently, I read that a Bronto... Oh yes, this is amazing. This is going to be... Oh, this is, this is a game changer for me because um, at kind of like our level, just having that uh, extra... Having that extra narco is going to be amazing. So... Oh god, there's a Spino over there. Don't you dare a tri- There's my poor trike! Oh, look at this! So many narco berries. So, like, three swings? And I've already got... Oh no, they're, all... they're in the dino, aren't they? So that was maybe, like, what, three or so swings? And we've got, if we open up the inventory... Yes! Perfect. Um, see, I kind of read that the Stegos and the, especially the Brontosaurus, I think one tail swoop from a Brontosaurus is, I think it's like a thousand different berries in one tail swoop. So that's amazing. Yeah, this guy is slow as anything, but I love him as one of my own. Actually, this might be really good around my house because there's sort of flat grassland area there. Ha! Huh. All right, so I'm going to do my best to get this guy back in one piece. And uh, yeah, I think next port of call. I don't know, actually. Hmm. I would really like to actually tame one of those um, the flying ones. I always forget the name, uh, which is my bad. But I would like to get one of those. Really want to get up to level 35, though. Hmm. And I also want to go across the river and see if maybe I can get rid of one of those T-Rex, because they're causing me a lot of problems. Hmm. We'll see. Randy, are you going to follow me or just be weird? Come on. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Randy. Stop being annoying. Are you actually going to follow me? Or are you, are you like permanently trapped there? Man, this thing is so slow. Are you coming? Why won't you move from there? Hmm. Oh, there's a beak. Oh, there's a supply drop. Uh, should, should we go and check it out? Yeah, let's go and check it out. Okie dokies, here she comes. So I can't quite remember what level this is. I'm, I've not seen a pink one. For quite some time, so I'm really hoping that level 30 is going to be okay for this. Oh, please be the right level, please be the right level, and... No, no, this is not looking good. This is 35! Oh! I bet that's got some really good stuff in it. Oh! That is so disappointing. Oh well, three, uh, five more levels to go, and I guess we can crack those open. Hmm, I kind of thought that this bit outside the front of my base for some reason had, like, loads of grass in it. Turns out it kind of doesn't, so there is like a cool plains area pretty close to here, so I'm thinking about taking him there and maybe building some kind of structure to keep him in, um, so he doesn't get attacked or whatever, which I think would probably be a good way of doing it. Uh, and then every time we want to go there, we can simply just, you know, grab him, do some farming, grab the berries, and then leave him there, which is probably the better option, so... Yeah, I think we're probably gonna move him, make some kind of little dino garage type thing, and, uh, yeah. And take it from there. Okay, so welcome back everyone. Things have gone pretty well, I've got to say. So, I've actually moved Barney over to um, kind of like a nice sort of flat area. It's got loads and loads of trees and bushes. To be honest, this place would have been quite good as well. Um, but yeah, he's kind of up at the top now, so that's where he's going to stay. Because there are some bushes and stuff, which is good. Um, but yeah, let me go and show you. So, I've built sort of a very, very, very basic dino garage. Uh, which is kind of just to sort of try and keep him a little bit safer if sort of rogue carnos come across and stuff. Although, to be honest, whilst I was doing this, I had to run back to the base to um, get myself some... Uh, some uh, No, not hide. Uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? I can't believe I've forgotten, like, the most basic item. It's thingy. Fiber, of course. See, I went back to get some fiber, and as I came back, there was just, like, this dead level 2 carno, and there was just Barney standing over the top of it. So, good news is he can probably handle himself just in case. But, um, I've kind of gone against building, like, a proper one with, you know, walls and all that stuff, because... Uh, I don't really see that much point of it right now, actually, because uh, we're kind of, we're not going to be staying in this area indefinitely, so I've just basically built a spike wall uh, all around, like so. Here we go. So, you know, it kind of keeps him safe from just some various bits and pieces. We've got a nice dino gate in here, and then that's where Barney is going to live. So I've got, like, a makeshift um, little setup here with our uh, mortar and pestle, and as you can see already, we have ourselves 18 narco, which has just been cooking up whilst I've been away, so this is awesome. Uh, yeah, let me do a quick little demonstration here. So, come on, come on, Barney. Let, let me let me ride you. Let me ride you. Hang on, we need to be on this side. There we go. Okay, so if we if we back him out the garage. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What's what's in my way? Boris, get out of the way! 
<laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Boris, move. Oh. You've always got to be center of attention, don't you? All right, you know what? There's an easy way of doing this. Come on, boys. Let's go. All right, you stay there. You stay there. Okay, let me try that again. So let me get on uh, Barney here and let's back him out of the garage. Dun 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, as I kind of mentioned plans for this guy, hopefully if we can get some berries, we can get some narco together and then that will allow us to get ourselves maybe like a stegosaurus or something. And then maybe a stegosaurus might lead to a brontosaurus and everything will be good. But yeah, check out this guy. It's pretty cool. We can just do this on all these little bushes and we can collect loads and loads of berries. So pretty sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's one more thing that I really want to do today, actually. Um, which I actually saw in my inventory. Oh, I wonder if it's still here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Remember we sort of talked in the beginning of the episode about Apache. I was like, what the heck is Apache? Is it new? Uh, well, look at this. This is so good. This is so good. Just so many berries. Oh, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, there's actually a Apache over here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Look, you see this guy? I think we should tame him because I swear this is new. If it's not new, I must have just been completely oblivious for this long. Um, so let's actually get ourselves our trank arrows in. As well as that, this guy also picks up normal arrows and stuff. I don't really know how he's done that, but he has, so fair enough. Okay, where are you, Patchy? Where are you, Patchy? Here it is, this guy. Another look, so he's, he's like placid. The funny thing is you could ride this guy. He's really, really small. He's so cute. Got a very pointy head. All right, and... Oh, I've missed, he's missed, he's missed. What a terrible shot. I should probably aim this. There you go. Stay, stay. Boop. Are you down? Nope. Two. Oh god, he's level 18. Three. Oh god. We need to probably think this through a little bit. Come on, how many drag arrows are you going to take? Okay, he's really not doing that much damage. Oh no, he's knocked me out! No! <laughs> oh god damn it, why do Oh no. I can't do anything. Oh, he's going to kill me. Guys! Whistle! Barney! Please! Oh, this was such a terrible idea. This was such a terrible idea. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought because he was so small, he'd just be easy to knock out. Obviously not. We should have got on top of a rock. Oh, he's left me alone. He's left me alone. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just wait this out. Hmm. <laughs> I think today we all learned a very valuable lesson. Do not try and take one of these guys on because he's got a really, really hard head. God damn you. Man, you're really tough. Okay, so fortunately, he didn't actually kill us. Maybe that's a good sign. Um, I think... Are these guys carnivorous? I'm actually not too sure. Uh, no, it's not looking like it. So, do they eat berries? Uh, we've got some azul berries here. Uh, yes, okay, so he is not carnivorous. He is a berry eater, and he has a very, very hard head. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Uh, so yeah, we managed to get him down. It only took like a couple of trank arrows that time. I shot him in the side though. I didn't shoot him in the head. Because normally, if you shoot them in the head, it's the best way of doing it. But for some reason at this point, he was a bit of a jerk, wasn't he? Man, he's pretty strong. Um, so I don't know if I've got the right berries. Uh, but you know what? It's not too big. Actually, mm, should I look it up? Yeah, I'm going to look it up quickly. Right, it seems they like mayo berries as well. Uh, or medjo berries. Whichever one you prefer. So, yeah, let's go and grab some from Barney. Whew. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, have we got any? Oh, yeah, we got loads. Yes, this is amazing. So many berries. So much room for activities. Yeah, this is cool. So, uh, yeah, the crossbow is pretty beastly, as I'm sure you can imagine. And, yeah, I think we're pretty good. So, the one thing that I did want to check out, um, and I think this may be in preparation for next episode, is I actually spotted a raft which we can make um, from... Let's put a bit of narco in there as well. Um, yeah, I spotted a raft that we can make, and I swear, like, has this been in there for a while? Because I've not spotted it yet, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's here, look at this, a raft. So, a wooden floating platform that you can use to pilot across the water. So I'm thinking, because I was looking at Death, uh, what's it called? Uh, Death Beach, and I was like, hmm, that might be useful for, uh, you know, getting over that. I really actually want to get rid of those T-Rex that are, are wandering around, because they're just killing everything over there. And it kind of sucks, because it it, it's making it super unsafe. So I was actually planning for next episode, maybe we should make a raft and then try and sail across and dispatch those T-Rex. So uh, yeah, try and get them somewhere safe so they can't hit us and you know, spam a load of arrows at them and stuff, which might be a good idea. So 
I'm going to leave Barney in here for now. There we go. And close these doors up. Hey, nice and safe. Hopefully. Okay, where, where are you? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, is that on this side of the water? Or is that supply drop on the other side? I think it's on the other side, isn't it? Uh, is it on the other side? Yeah. See, if I had my raft right now, that would be really easy to get to. Because this guy, uh, the raptors really suck in water. They're super, super slow. Uh, and we don't have anything tamed yet that can swim. Oh! I don't know what's happened with this update. It's really weird. It's like bugging out on me. Um, so yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for this guy to tame. We might as well have him, because why not? Um, but yeah, I'm going to wait for him to tame, and then I'm going to meet you back at base camp. We're going to build a raft and have a bit of a sail. Home sweet home. Yes, we are back. So I've got myself my little new buddy here. So I think we got seven. Where's he gone? Oh, God. <laughs> Where are you? Did I run too fast? Oh, there you are. Hey. So, uh, yeah, I think we got seven bonus levels, which is not too bad. I mean, thing is, we're not really looking into kibble and stuff just yet because we don't really have, like, the resources. But, yeah, check out this. So this is Apache. For the sheer fun of it, I actually crafted a little saddle for him because why not, right? Uh, I don't know if he's going to be any good. Look at this. Oh, it's so majestic. Yeah, you're kind of slow. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be using you, but you know what? As part of the family, you are more than welcome. So anyway, what we need to do now is I want to actually... Oh, you're ready for a level, Jay-Z. Ha! Uh, let's just stick melee damage on you, why not? Um, so, yeah, what I want to do now is I want to actually craft myself uh, a raft. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Just finish off here by uh, making ourselves a raft and launching it. So the only problem is we need an awful lot of wood. We need like 250 wood. So I'm going to get to a chopping. We get... Oh God, that's not very much wood at all. Um... Actually, that's better. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to try and craft uh, one of these bad boys. I'm just going to have to go and collect loads and loads of wood, basically. Uh, I might need you, so Boris, come on, because I might need to use your inventory space. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do, eh? Okie dokies. I think we have enough. So the problem is we're all, like, super over-encumbered here right now. Um, but, yeah, I, I could really do with actually getting myself some kind of... Um, like moving things so I can actually get you know oh, what do we need what do we need? hide oh no actually no hang on wait we've got hide we've got hide see so, yeah, I could really do with um getting some kind of dino which is going to help me with moving stuff so apparently I think carnos are they quite good for moving stuff I'm not too sure actually uh oh god what is this okay there we go so three two one craft it up craft it up floating wooden boat how heavy is that gonna be uh, wow, it's taken ages. So that was so, so many. 250 wood. Uh, we've got loads of hide and fiber, though, so that's not too much of an issue. And dun, 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 dun. 85. Wow, it's so heavy. Oh, God, I'm not going to be able to move here. Hmm. Hmm. Can I move at all? No. <laughs> Great. So um, let's see. Can you take it? Um, can, can you take it, buddy? Can you take the weight? You should be able to take the weight. Let's see if we can ride you. Or am I too heavy? Okay. You know what? Let's see. Come on. Are you coming? Yeah, you're coming. Hey, good old Boris. All right. So let's get down to the water and launch this bad boy. Let's see what we can do. So yeah, I could do with some kind of dino that's going to help me move stuff around. Especially, of course, when we get to a higher level uh, and we start to use some farming dinos. So, for example, I think they're called Ankylio. I think they're really good for getting metals and stuff. As I kind of mentioned at the beginning, there were a couple of them over here. But these two T-Rex, the same ones every time, level 10 male, level 8 female, they're just destroying everything. And they're ruining the party. So I think next episode... Yeah, there's a dead one there. I think, no, that's one of the... Oh, no, there's one still alive. That's not what I was thinking, though. There was another one. And there's that Alpha Raptor. Yeah, we need to do some spring cleaning next episode, I think. But, okay. Come up. Come up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let me, uh, let me grab this thing off you. Oh, God, that Spino is really close. I've just realized that. Ooh. Okay, let's let me uh, stick this bad boy in. And dun, dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to call you HMS Woody. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is amazing. Nice. How do we drive it? Can we drive it? We can't drive it. Great. How does this work? Oh. Can I access it? Oh, there we go. Drive. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy now with the thing. Oh, my dino goes on it as well. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cool. 
Oh man, this is perfect. So yeah, HMS Woody is going to help us to get from A to B here. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is, I think that's probably going to be a bit for this episode actually, but next episode we are probably going to start by going across there, doing a little bit of spring cleaning, and hopefully being able to kill ourselves some T-Rex. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. So thank you so, so much for watching. We've actually got a level up here. Um, hmm. Let's go with melee damage. Okay, so yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do arc done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right, see ya.